Ah, let's do it. Let's do it, man. We have a helm, dudes. I think it's a possibility that like you could do what I'm doing with a ranged weapon the entire playthrough of the Knight Blade to 50 and max out the Blade Burst over here as Manuel in chat was suggesting earlier. But I'm assuming that many people are going to be playing this with dual wielding. So we're gonna try to dual wield as well, I think. Doesn't want to pick it up, it's okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes happens. The Nightblade stat is going to be a lot shakier than, you know, at level 1 taking Word of Pain and spamming it. Uh, but I think soon enough it should, it should pick it up. I do believe that it will pick it up. See what we got. I think we're going to be giving about like
No, I have mostly melee builds, Sticky Silpa. I really like them though. I have been extremely uh, fond of the melee builds that we have been doing on stream. Um, the next one that I'm going to create is going to be a caster, I think. But it is going to be um, taken from No Manuals, one of the builds of his. So maybe check it out. Maybe he will share it with you. I don't know if he's around even. But I think the expansion is requiring a little bit too tanky characters, so it is easier to reach that tankiness with like Soldier or or something like Necromancer, I don't know. As I said guys, it's going to be a little bit shakier at the start. You have to you have to bear with me. This is what you get for dual wielding. I think so at least. There's no specific skill that we can like... I mean, I don't know, there's actually this one that you could like commit to. Then max it out and it's going to be hitting out of his mind. But I do believe you also want to be rushing till the end, almost at the end. Um, like, there's a lot of decisions that you need to be making. Like, six points into pneumatic burst is really, really big as well because of the total speed that you gain. Um, we are going to be trying to make some sort of a value build like this. You know, a little bit of total speed here and there, a little bit more damage from the ABB Blade Burst. And we are not closing yellow drops for a while until, until we are okay with our weapons. This guy just destroyed me now. Sailing up, stop healing up, Milton, please. We should have kept the two in there that's at the start of the game. It would have been better. Definitely. Shield weapon. Don't necessarily remember the name, um, the level of that. What is the level requirement set? Do you know?
that that was not so bad. At least the dude was on the right side on the first spot that we checked. Some attack speed stuff. <laughs> I would most likely really, really like uh, this way, please. Movement speed boots. By playing a melee, we're going to be needing a little bit more beef than our usual, you know, kiting characters. The ring, that is from the quest in Act 1, from the necklaces of these guys, is pretty important actually. It's a, it's a good overall survival ring. Decisions, decisions. Now I think we should be building up at least to 15 to get the lethal assault, I believe so. Lethal assault is going to be too big.
It's like leveling this Night Blade is taking longer than the previous ones. It is not going to be a surprise if that's the case throughout the entire. It might actually pick up at some point though. Um, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be ending up about like maybe 3 hours, 30 minutes. We shouldn't be too bad. That was our first one with the Inquisitor as well. Should be okay. -ish. But it is quite normal. There's no go-to spell at the start that is like giving you um, the capability of just destroying masses. That is really normal. Oh, it was exactly the same drop. What the hell? <laughs> I was like, nice, but it's the same item. I think we tried to rush for our AoE as well, but afterwards I am thinking of maxing this out. We'll put a few points into Ring of Steel to have, like, reliable AoE at the start of the game. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Definitely not too bad. It's me. We could we could definitely out overcome this. It's important that like we end up finding some good weapons from me. Maybe check the entire loot on like Warden Drop or something. Mm, this is a little rippy, I cannot click that thing right. Playstyle matters so much when you're playing a character that is actually, you know, struggling. You were just like clicking Word of Pain and everything was disappearing on you know, Inquisitor, wasn't it? This is not the case here.
happening so far. It's important that we will be able to like hold the weapon as it drops. It drops. Sure. Looks good. Zero percent elemental resistances, dudes. <laughs> so far, the itemizing hasn't been all too well. Rolling eyeballs this time. If you pay attention, my level is really lower than usual as well. Like. I think we're coming close to like level 17 or something usually. We're gonna actually end up like fighting Warden about like level 15 or something. This is crazy. Just because our AoE is not so good. But it, it all comes down to basically being able to clear your screen as you transition. We are not. We're necessarily just like skipping lots of monsters, you know? <laughs> no clear. Should try to pay attention to clearing a little bit more. See how this is gonna go. We need to be like both beef up and end single target damage. That's why we are trying to focus as much on the lethal assault before the ward, and otherwise, we're going to be in for like a three, four, four minutes fight. That is definitely not what we're searching for here. We want to be destroying the warden somehow, as we did on every other taxi. I'm hoping lethal assault is the key. We'll see.
So level 16. That being said, level 16 is really important as well because not many po more points on it. Yeah, our, our single target is picking up. Our single target is picking up. I like it. I Let's not cheese it. <laughs> I was gonna cheese it, I think, but like, let's not do it. It's fine. It's fine. Chaos damage, huh? <laughs> that Arbalest drop, I'm pretty sure it's making the game so much easier in here. Gonna use it. But this is still dealable, no? It's still easily dealable. Gonna have the spirit or what? Um, I'm just gonna sell it, I think, guys. It's not like we're gonna spend any spirit soon enough. Our single target is a lot better now, thanks to that lethal assault buff. For the lethal assault to work, we need to like hit with ABB ones with a uh, blade burst. I'll, for the rest of the ward, I think I'm gonna just call it ABB. This skill over here. Um, but once you touch it, basically everything just gets improved. Uh, we are definitely in the search of better weapons and. I would actually like if I if I can find two more necklaces of these, I would actually go for that quest even now because I think we're gonna need it. Just looking at my resistances here, zero percent. I'll need that. That is just ridiculous. So let's kill some sleth here. Maybe I could find two more.
So some components, okay. We're gonna take we're gonna take some chilled steels, I think. Let's take like eleven. We're gonna take some like movement speed ones. If I can ever find them in my bags. Please open your eyes. It is Alright, let's go. Let's go, man. A better necklace than the white one that we were using. Alright, the fastest one was on Necromancer with like 25 minutes. Act 1 finish. This click, we're done with Act 1. It's 32 minutes. I'll take it to be honest with you. It's not as bad as it could be to be honest with you. It's fine. Do we have any movement speed over here? I don't have a secondary rain game. Why would you do this to me? Hey Kay, welcome. More poison and bleed resistance. Interesting. We're sitting on like 35% poison. 8% elemental resistance is now, I got it from somewhere.
point there. We put like two points there, I think. Uh, is that the cold proc? That's the pierce and main hand proc. What about you? That's the pierce and main hand as well. I think when it comes to the procs, we are going to try to put them into like, I don't know, 15, 18%, something like that. Whichever one is like, you know, more comfortable for, for the procs. The only thing that is sort of bad with this character is that like we're missing quite a lot of kills. So like I think to, to hit level 50 we'll need to do something like Bastion of Chaos at the end of this run or something, you know. So obviously it's going to be expanding how long it takes also. I uh, still couldn't find some movement speed and for getting the pneumatic burst. Elemental resistance on that thing, we're gonna need to wear that really do any sort of elemental resistance that we could get, that's an upgrade as well. It's sort of important to me that like we need to hit once with ABB and then afterwards use the blade burst. If you do it the other way around then I am thinking that you're losing a lot of DPS actually from your blade burst. But you gotta hit and then blade burst. Because of the lethal assault being so important for this character right now. Getting the first relic of the game, you just have to lie to this guy in this quest. And it gives you like a stat upgrade relic. Which is on top of that in the early game, it is giving you mana infusion, which is like 100% I think all damage increase. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's like a cooldown that you can use. Our resistances are looking just a little bit better now. That makes me happy. And hopefully this guy cannot one-shot me. He hurts. Let's go this way. No, not that way. <laughs> I was trying to aim the door, man. Rip. I 
I think I should st stop trying to greet it with my Mark of the Traveler and just use it on 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 the boots that we're wearing right now because it's it doesn't look like we're going to be able to you know find boots. We're still sitting on the yellow boots that we found at the start of the game. I think it's like level one or something that item. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> it shit happens, man. You know, sometimes you have to tank it up. Thanks for the follows, by the way, guys. Think we can jump up with some cheese oh my god there was some skeleton i swear to you no that wasn't good enough that was a skeleton at some point he just decided to go away so messed up that we are not able to find something that we could use weapons maybe even a second ring you kind of lose a lot of time for continuing looting um well yellows in this game if you would like to you can definitely continue looting them your your character will be a little bit better optimized obviously especially like weapons you can definitely find some pretty good weapons it doesn't necessarily need to be green it can be yellow um Well, throughout the entire game actually like yeah you can definitely find really good items in yellows as well but like my spellbreaker when it died it was still using some yellow um shoulders i think it was giving i think about like 1.2k hp 50% both pierce and poison resistance and crazy amount of armor too. There's no point attacking him right now. Falcon Claw, talk to me. Wait, it's a two-hander. <laughs> Didn't happen, guys. Did not happen. Ah, we found something good, though. Guess we are not going to be worrying about poison resistance the entire game, thanks to these bands. We have some gloves. Chaos resistance, vitality damage. That's it. Let's give some quests back.
I mean, selling is not so bad actually at this point. I'll take the pants back. I'm not necessarily interested in that. Let's go kick it in. <laughs> it's not the double can. I think it's the Morrowind that we're listening to. Dude, I don't know, everyone was... I think everyone's favorite was my Spellbreaker so far, even though, like, the battle mage is just incredible. That character was the first in our hearts, you know what I mean? <laughs> that was special. Feels bad, man. Hey, this is lucky. <laughs> you only love them because of the spikes. This might be a little rupee, guys. Yeah, help you. Oh my god. Alright, in situations like this, you bail. I mean, if you can. The gate's closed. This was an insane fight for my character. I'll take it though. Power Frost Ointment. Okay, Ointment. <laughs> With the devotion so far, we have taken the candle. We ha we are going for the quill, and before that, we have taken the um, tsunami, and the tsunami is sitting on uh, the blade burst ABB. I think tsunami is like a really great, really really early pickup, but like later on into the game, you can definitely remove it. Like I I think the damage is just like terrible, <laughs> probably. It doesn't necessarily matter if you have it or not, probably. New game. Killerina is gonna destroy me. That's not it. Once upon a time, there was good one enders, and then they decided not to drop. That is reflect. I 
I think we are taking enough damage from other sources that I should not be you know, damaging myself. Player level 27. Ah, uh, hello. There are a couple of like one handers in my bags, especially this one. I think we go like this. Put that one over there. I have a feeling Kilvin is going to be a disaster, guys. <laughs> Like, as much as I want to rush for the execution, there's absolutely nothing else, if you think about it. Like, the entire way towards there. We should put one point into Blade Barrier now, so that, like, if something goes wrong, we can survive it by spamming it. Um... Like 25 mastery points right now to, to go to execution doesn't sound so great. I think I'll fix the others before that. Ludus is complete cold. This is not going anywhere. while everything else is shooting me. mercy <laughs> that, that was an uphill battle that we won physical damage conversion to aether damage this one is vitality and this one is trauma so far we haven't been lucky with the weapon drops but at least like when it comes to flat damage this is definitely an upgrade so i'll take it i suppose Might actually be gaining a little bit more DPS. We swap them like this. And put the chill steel on the left. How are you alive? The 
This is gonna be an uphill battle. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Is Mercer spawning even more and more? For the sake of the VOD, we might actually end up like taking a secondary class for Nightblade because Nightblade alone is going to be really uphill for 50. I think so at least. It's just ridiculously questionable. That was a freeze. Especially with the itemizing that we're doing. That's good. Oh, you too. All damage attack speed. The right one doesn't have attack speed, the right one is the worst one. Can I use like that I think? I cannot believe how many chilled steels I'm actually spending with this. I'll take these out I think. From the apprentice that we saved. It's just constant weapon swap it looks like, lightning damage. So this used to be one hour when we are here, it is still one hour. We are keeping up with the time. It is just incredibly ripping. Like, you, like this character definitely needs a lot more, I don't know, optimizing time. You know what I mean? Like you need to be, you need to be checking like yellow items, I think, and you need to be putting some components all over your items, I would say, so that you have better resistances. I mean, it could have been a little bit better if we like ended up finding some necklaces from the slith for instance maybe you should do that quest for your own character guys and um have that ring because you know overall resistance is from that our damage is there now but like the character is just really ripping like we can disappear anytime honestly yeah i'm hardcore so Okay. I think I want to sell and destroy some items. We will also like check with the um, spirits guide. Right, that's cool. What is the level of a runestone for the helm? 
I think that would give us quite a bit. See that too, and then we turn back to leveling. It's a wood stone. Where's your rune stone? All right. Hey, that's a good one. This one deserves an upgrade. Put some elemental damage on it. So I'll put some elemental damage mark of illusions on one of the rings. And then I'll put a rune stone on the helm for like elemental resistances. It's looking a little bit better now. Could definitely use like corpse dust or something on the other materials to gain a little bit of HP and beef easily. So something like this, you know. But I don't like those items. If we find something better, we can put a corpse dust on it, no problems. I think so. Uh, here we go, here we go, man. We can use the pants now. That is definitely worthy of a component on it. It will most likely be on us, even at level 50. I'll do that when I go to... When I go to a blacksmith or something. What we could do, we could probably put something like Silk Swatch. Which is like both lead and pierce resistance. That's a good component to put in the early levels. Definitely. Um, bleed and pierce resistance, I think it's about like 18%. Let's do that when we like go to a blacksmith, I'll craft one. We're trying to kill as much as possible because I really want to like get the maximum level. I think it would like destroy us if we need to like go Bastion of Chaos, let's say, to finalize the character. That's going to be a little annoying as well. We need to get honored with the robbers in, in SOT. Hopefully that will be possible. So far one of my characters didn't get to honored and that is that's a disaster because like you want the Rovari legacy quest. Hey Kriegs! Where are you at? Where are you at? Right. Yeah, sure. I have like 11 dynamites. Might as well pick it up. Maybe get something good out of it. Slash on it. What do you guys think about my AoE now? It does look better than the start of the game, don't you think? No items. Just gonna find the Ikrix dude now. Um, spirit and offensive ability. <laughs> Ikrix, the real hero of this game, and we are always killing him. <laughs> Alright, too many spoilers there, okay? Let's shush, please. Maski.
Guys, we're dropping a portal here because I think we can need to come back here. Let's go take the waypoints. Instead of backtracking. At the end of normal, did you do did you do the um, expansion as well? Size M. In the normal vanilla content, you have 28 available. In the expansion, you have 5. So in total, it's 33. The entire normal difficulty. Where the hell are you? Ah? Oh my god! Ah, we gotta click the gobs. You're missing one of them. It's most likely the Robari Legacy Quest, no? Did you do the Mog Mogdugan Shrine? It's a quest. It's a broken shrine that you need to repair, kind of. Ah, that's a good one, Ocelot. Thank you. I forgot about that thing. We go back. Swim. Oh, you did do that, huh? Well, you you're gonna need to you're gonna need to check that link. The also lots commanded from the move bot. It will definitely help you, and it is really easy to understand as well. It's impossible for us to kind of like guess which one you're missing. Cool that you actually like completed the Mogdrukan Shrine though. Painted brain matter on the sky. You can't hide from me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have. Thank you. Thank you. That ain't so bad. Crazy amount of HP. I think I'm gonna need to wear that even though we are losing a little bit of like defenses when it comes to resistances. It's sure. This one is like elemental resistance and HP. It's overall better. Um, the other one is better. So, elemental damage as well. We were talking about checking a blacksmith and then fixing six watch. Let's do it. We'll have the time to pick that up later on. For the six watch, you need a resilient plating first. Let's make two of them. And six watch, let's make two of them. We put one there and we put one to the chest piece for now. That should that should help me against peers and plead. But we don't disappear anyway because we don't necessarily have all shit buttons on this character right now. Definitely not. Two K life. Two K life at twenty eight. Yeah, the character is questionable right now. Mm -hmm. 
best part of the game is about to start, Pine Barrens. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not reading that also lots. The Tyrants. In the Tyrant Hold, actually. I think it's called Tyrant's Hold, right? Pitch sure they can almost like one shot me. So we should pay attention to their abilities. Their attacks, rather. Try to get the maximum movement and attack speed on this character. Total speed that you get from the buff of Pneumatic Burst is working for both attack speed, cast speed and movement speed. So, And the maximum movement speed that you can have is 135. We are at 116 right now. That's not even close. We could get about like 20% more total speed in fact. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll get the Mogara set for you. I think the next level we gain, we need to be a little bit more defensive. Like... I think we're gonna put like... One point to the barrier. Uh, one point to this one, the Veil of Shadow. And one point to... Transmuser. That was a Tyrant hit. Nothing special. My damage is up there. Survival is not though. I'm not scared of you. Oh my god! <laughs> you- oh. Marauder's Justice. Too bad it's a pistol, huh? Uh, did we manage to find did we manage to find a manticore gland? Not necessarily. That's annoying. Maybe this guy over here is gonna drop it. It would be really cool actually. Oh my god, thank you dude. Thank you, bro. Let's go! <laughs> that was a cool one. Tomorrow I buy another monitor, only have one. It's pain playing and following the stream. No, we're not lucky with this one. Cheers, John. I think I like having two monitors as well, definitely. Like, even while I'm not streaming, I mean. Oh, it's the worst spawner. Somewhere around here, I think. Tadam! We're now despised by the beasts. Would you guys rather have, um, you know, the beast reputation only be, you know, progressing in, in the expansion, just like the ethereal vanguard, so that you don't necessarily go to, like, Nemesis statue in, like, elite, you know what I mean? And then fight that guy. Please cast the bleed. Nice. So did he found, find in it a soul rent? No, tech. We're just making a taxi 1 to 50 with Nightblade for YouTube and, and for, for my channel. Yeah.
You agree with me on that one, right, Tech? I mean, even if it's like progressing outside... Even if it's like progressing outside the expansion, I, I feel like you're getting too... Like, you're getting Nemesis status with the beasts too, too quickly, right? Like, I have been a lot of people joining my stream and saying like, they're on Elite, it's their first character. And they're like already nemesis, you know? That's just messed up in my Oh, okay, we're good. Man, I would have died there. Always forgetting his casting twice. So, one, two, three. Blade Barrier, Vein of Shadows, let's see, <laughs> General Chaos is saying, I get Nemesis with the Chthonics the time I'm in Elite, the hell, the Chthonics love me. <laughs> John is saying, anyone of chat knows something about Warframe game, what? Not me, never played it, John. Why can I find the ectoplasm? Sizen. Look at my screen. Um, there's a cave somewhere around there, okay? So you go to this and you go backtrack. Somewhere around at the entrance of lake. There's a cave. It drops from the ghosts. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, drop chance. Just finish that cave. Reset it. Go one more time. It's not too bad. Hey, car face. Guys, these tyrants, they're scaring me. Health, cunning spirits, where's the resistances? <laughs> I remember guys, by the way, if anyone is playing this. We are trying to scale cold damage. We haven't been finding any item that is like necessarily giving me any cold damage, but... If you do find some gold, it, it is it is the item to go for. We're gonna use this helm, I'm pretty sure, but I want to take out the rune stone that we put there. Since our HP is like really low, we are about like 800 lower than where we should be. Most of the time, like, the HP that you want to be sitting on is about like 100 times uh, the level that you're on, but that is that is only when, when you're like in normal and elite. Afterwards, you do want just a little bit more depending on like what type of character you're playing, obviously. Like if it's a melee, you want a little bit more than a little bit more, you know? Like it's a range caster, something that you can, you know, get away with every now and then. And maybe 100 times will just like be okay. Yeah, the spellbreaker that I was playing got one shot at 10,000 HP from a meteor. So, I mean... Do not, what do I know? Let's go this way. Excuse me. Mistakes were made, I think. Someone is healing him good. This is so much fun to play, actually. Like, hands down, I'm having a lot more fun than I was. When, when I was like playing with the skeletons from like 1 to 50 on Necromancer. 
it is so active jumping here and there you know using this skill using that skill it's obviously i don't know much more of a like a rocky mountain to climb but i'll say it's much more fun to play definitely You guys it for this, this is going to be a disaster. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm pretty sure he can one-shot me. Eyes of flame, flames, even now the eyes of flame. So at this point, I'm wondering like what to do, not gonna lie. We could actually go for the execution and gain some stats while doing so, or we could max out the nice chill. I think I'm leaving it for now, we're gonna think about it. Let's go homestead. Minus 33 light radius, the best stats in the game. <laughs> light radius is cool. HP fire resistance, reduce stun. It is definitely better than mine, but is it better than this? Probably not. I like this one the most. Let's take that out though. Alright. Two point eight K now. That is looking a little bit better for level thirty two. As I said, like, we could definitely go for the execution now to finish the character a little bit. But other than the execution, it doesn't look like you're gaining much from this. So at this point, this is a perfect point to, like, you know, uh, take the secondary class that you're planning. Definitely. I'll say so. Let's see, we have some good items, right? We have um, that thing over there that is pretty good item. Attack speed, movement speed, sure. Alright, let's go like this. Welcome back, Adam. <laughs> I don't like that emote. I don't know. I don't think it's a good emote. It's low quality.
that elemental damage from the elemental storm. By the way, some some kind of sad news. Um, to be honest with you, like I really, really wanted, as you know, to um, get more emotes for the channel. So, and also want to expand as much as I want, as as much as I can for with the channel. Um, did get declined for the first partnership application, unfortunately. So. No new emotes for a while, dudes. We will sit on one. I think we could like apply again on four weeks or something like that, they're saying, but it kinda breaks your heart, so we'll see. going by the way I'm here hello <laughs> Bible thumb yeah pretty much kind of need a lucky spawn here Alright, literally there's only one thing that I know that it could spawn that is left and it's the top left and it is there. Alright. <laughs> well, at least we found it if you think about it. This was like the worst spawn possible though. And it's cool. It's not the end of the world. Hopefully bad luck. Thank you, dude. I think I fat fingered my black barrier. That happens. Floating head. <laughs> yeah, we should, we we do need some light, don't we? Oh, the one shot chest is here. Floating head malignant. And I'll open the lights and hold up. sit in the pool but like we do have maximum poison resistance maybe it should be okay ah. oh my god stop there's little bugs that are biting my ass let's never mind that guy what about this pierce flat Eight player. Yeah, the, the next one needs to. This one needs to change, I believe. With that, I'll put that one once again. Okay. Eleven eighty eight. Think that this is better. Ding 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 ding. Mm. 
We need to find the Vizier. I think I have only killed one of them. Um, it's not the Vizier either. Might be somewhere here though. Yeah. Oh, this weapon looks so cool actually. Need to adjust the in real life gamma. Alright dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, can someone just like fucking chill in the dark a little bit? What's up? What's up with the light? Do you really need to see my ugliness? This was a nice shortcut. If you look at it, it was like the other side. We gotta make it to the bottom. I have a new road from here now. Changed my... Changed the way that I was taking earlier. Just follow the road from here. Thinking about actually like putting more points into this in the next level, we'll see. What are you doing? Our face is saying, rip the mountain, got my pistol infiltrated in the leads. Rest in peace, dude. Rest in peace. Mountain could be a bitch if you kite him. Rest in peace, bro. I actually believe you gotta like pot up and, and just man up versus him, you know. Don't kite, never kite. Why are you so tanky? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> come out, come out. Right, let's try this one more time. The mob of the beast, what is that? No, that's the shield, you guys. You got played. Guys, remember the level 35? Remember the level 35, right? Here we go. Level 35, you instantly go up the stairs over here. Speak to this guy. Go to respected. Check out the drops. Check out the drops. What could we have? There's HP. Armor. These boots are pretty cool. I'll wear those boots. Uh, what about the helm? I like my helm, right? But let's get these gloves at least. Alright. <sighs> These over there.
some pens. I don't necessarily believe that it's possible to get pens upgrades. I don't think so. Alright. Ah, I'm gonna give it. The chaos assistant so so. Twenty space from here. Children do not believe that. There's no way that pyramid finished. He's just lying. Don't believe him. There's no fucking way. No! Where's the passage? Death to the Kaiman! Ah, sorry. We don't need much more HP. Like, we need just, just a little bit more. <laughs> Not much. Which should the dude over here, Bolvar or whatever, he should be able to destroy me. Good news is maybe the order of death vigil doesn't necessarily need Bolvar kill. So No, <laughs> another fast finger. This guy's destroying me, dudes. We'll kill him. Don't worry. Time to run. I was trying to like search for the portal as well, but I couldn't find it, the rift portal, you know? I still couldn't like get used to where the rift portal could spawn, we just passed it obviously. So it's right next to this thing over here, that's not too bad, it's not too bad. Um, let's go 
go this way. I don't know, I have even, like, last time I have even checked out, like, the guide on my stream to see, like, the spawn points and try to memorize it, but I think I'm doing an awful job at that. Just way too spread. Not level 50 yet, Peanut says. How many hours is this? Not even two hours, Peanut. Okay, give me a break, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying here. I mean, I guess it's going a little bit slower than usual. I actually don't know if it's going slower than usual or not. Probably it is. Probably it is. Run! Not bad, those boots. They're not too bad at all. What do you mean, Sanj? Like a devotion prox that doesn't have any cooldown whatsoever? I don't know. I think the Fiend doesn't have, but other than that, I have no idea. There are some like really low cooldown ones. Check out the Fiend, it's to the left of, left of the crossroads with the fire. Yeah, it's good for, like, if I'm not mistaken, pet, pet stuff at the start. So that, like, your entire skeleton army can proc it. On the single target, I keep on fat fingering my blade barrier. Black Grimoire. Thirty-five hundred HP now. Still in, in the search of a godlike weapon. To be honest with you, like I think this run we could have been a lot luckier with, with the weapon drops. I think so. Something that has like flat cold damage or like physical damage, I think that is like our biggest gain. We have like pierce and physical. That's and no conversion. So while you're leveling up with the Nightblade, if you do the exact same build as I am, I think you're going to be gaining a little bit more if you go for... Um, cold damage conversion and flats. It's sure. Oh, 
What is that manual? I really don't want to tap out right now while making a mod. Explain it to me. By the way, both for the dudes that are like watching from YouTube and, and in Twitch right now, like if you're enjoying the stream and, and the YouTube content, feel free to join our Discord. Um, just to lurk also, that you don't necessarily need to, you know, share anything or... Feel free to share anything as well. There you go. You can post your dogs, and it's cool. Yup. There's the pets pets channel. There's the Grimdon channel. There's playground, which you can you know pretty much speak about any game that you're hyped about. And soon there's going to be Path of Exile channel as well. So far, those are the ones. Our single target is massive, guys. Let's go! Alright. This time it's not Fat Finger. I don't care how rocky this thing is going, we're gonna need to destroy that clock over there. Warden sealed with 1k flat HP and 15% life. That sounds crazy. Nice one. Do you need that item, by the way? Like, was that an upgrade for you? Congrats if that's the case. Um. Actually, I'm thinking of not going to Homestead. Till we are at Fort Icon. Let's continue with these guys. There's like some boots and some, some chest piece that might be an upgrade for me in my bags. This thing. Offensive ability. Pierce resistance is already fixed. Uh, man. No, I don't like either one, I think. I'm just gonna go go with this. I'll gather the essence. This this quest is something that I really don't like actually. This is also one of the reasons why I like the Father Kaiman uh, faction better than the Order of Death Vigil, but it's alright, I suppose. Attack speed 13%, that would have been too vague. How come we're gaining so much DPS with this weapon? Look at that. It's flat gold damage, I just saw it. It's flat gold damage. My bad, man. I shouldn't have replaced this. 12%. Let's attack speed. Yeah. Alright. My bad. Still running around with a yellow ridiculous ring, unfortunately. It's just bad. What's this? <laughs> the oblivion music in the background, yeah, it's really cool. I'll wait just a little bit over here. Thirty-eight. Ah, 
How are you alive? There's actually like one more guardian over there to the left side if you would like to kill him. He's not too strong. I mean, more loot. Is there like frost aura that we can open for my weapons? Probably, right? We should check the blacksmith sometime. I'll gather the ashes. Now we can make our way towards the force icon. Hopefully no crashes so that the quests they don't bug out. There's no way I'm attacking children with this guy. <laughs> he would just tank me, I think. I don't know. Actually, like we have quite a lot of DPS as well. If you guys would like to get a little bit more DPS than what we have right now and not go for execution, obviously, since you need more points. So you, you, you remember the time that we decided to start going for execution instead of, you know, selecting a second class because they're just doing a night blade for the sake of you two. Uh, but as I said, like at 25 and you have given everything, that is definitely a really, really good time to like select the second class if you have decided already. Uh, otherwise, what you could also do, if you want to like upgrade your DPS a little bit, you could also like put few points or like full points into dual blades as well. It's like 15 point committal, it's quite a lot, but your DPS will be going crazy high as well. The thing about this is that it's giving you flat peers, so... You will end up becoming like half peers, half cold, so keep that in mind as well. So while leveling it doesn't necessarily matter all that much, but you should pick like, you know, cold, frostburn, or peace and cold maybe at the end game. And, and obviously never mind the physical, like try to convert the entirety of, of physical away. You can try to stay physical as well but then it's becoming physical peers cold frostburn you know it's too much to to optimize you want to be trying to get the maximum out of two and the two best is cold and frostburn on top of that you could put a little bit like depending on your devotions peers as well when the conversions come i think the conversions that are coming from the peer um armor piercing conversion is kicking in last so if you're capable of like converting 100% fizz to cold, I think the pierce doesn't mean shit. But, like, if, if no one confirms that in the chat, then uh, feel free not to trust me on that one. Or max shadow strike. Yeah, you could, you could definitely, like, keep on jumping and one-shotting everything. You're right, actually, Tech. That's another option. Um, the only thing about the shadow strike is that it is going to be really good versus like a fight like what we are doing right now but it won't be like the, the the points that you end up spending on that it won't be improving anything um except single target you know what i mean so if you pay attention to the points that i have been putting every single point they they they, they are somehow helping aoe this way or the other and i think that's really important for leveling Please die, man. If he had this spell, 
a nullification from a arcanist this would have been dead already but yeah like every single point that we have been putting so far is somehow helping my AoE and I think that's really really important when you're leveling a character it is not about killing the single targets the masses two points available from devotions this is going to be the third one should put them should put them the Nightfall modifier helps with the area. Is it is it the justice? I've never maxed that out. It's the poison one. Or or are you talking about the ending one? The nightfall. You're talking about the nightfall, aren't you? That's too far off. The Yetis are incredibly tanky to me. So if it's possible I think we skip these guys. Let's check that Nightfall modifier. Five meter radius, frostburn and cold. Yeah, that is that is definitely legit for us too. Since it's cold and frostburn, it was maxed out for my spell breaker anyway. It's a good point. Take. It's a good point. Respected with the order. The order loves me. In this crap. I think so too, Tank. I agree. Yo, what's up, Yangi? Welcome, Efreet. 1 to 50, yep. Yeah. That is the thing. 1 to 50. guy doesn't want to die. Case. <laughs> Let's go kill the necromancer that is guarding the ashes. Why 50 though? Because it's a good point to taxi a, ca a character and afterwards you can convert that character with the with the points that you have into any spec that you were theory crafting to begin with. So what we are doing right now is for anyone that is gonna start with a night blade, and let's say we could continue making up a blade master, a spellbreaker, I don't know, a trickster. Uh, you know, you get the point. Anything doesn't matter. And he wants to play the night blade in the beginning, and he wants to be fast. So it is the content to find. Is that is it the best way what I am doing? Probably not. Especially since I didn't necessarily theory craft about it. But a lot of people are enjoying this content, so I could only give more. Just spending quite a lot of money on. Isn't it hundred percent proc with the elemental storm and the blade burst? It's eighty five percent, I'll take it, it's fine. Especially in the UE situation, it's fine.
The last two points that we spent in the Elemental Storm actually like gave me almost maximum resistances. That's pretty cool. So we are not supposed to be scared of elements anymore. I honestly don't know like where we are going next with the um, devotions. There's going to be a couple more devotions that we're gonna pick up. I don't know. Maybe we can get something like... Hmm. Maybe we can get something like the owl. I don't know. Some purples. I wouldn't mind getting something like even a turtle right now. To be honest with you, like the turtle is not so great for the end game, but in the early game is cool. And it does save you if you're playing a rippy character like this one, definitely. It's giving you a lot more time to, you know, take a step back after realizing that what you're doing is quite hard on you. You guys think we're going to be getting to like level 41 or something after giving the quest back? Most likely not. <laughs> I wish. Hey Telemana, it's going good, how about you? The Phantasmal Blade? I have never played it. I have never played it. If anyone has, feel free to share it with them. It's some sort of like a range ability, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely not what I'm searching why for when I when I pick Nightblade into my uh, combination. I don't know. Alright, homestead first. Let's give every single quest back. I'm glad that I did not crash. The mental storm we're trying to. Maybe Wiper next. Sounds really cool, actually. Let's go for Wiper next. Thank you, Tech. That's a really good idea, in my opinion. <laughs> Throwing knife. EK, right? <laughs> That's what it is. Damn that chaos resistance on those bands. I mean, uh, boots. They were pretty good. The helm. Hey, let's go. Let's use another XP pot. Too much melee from him. Not 41. 
Not yet. No cold multipliers items either. We could actually we could actually um This is annoying as well. Order of the Death Vigil, it's not getting the next rank. This run is becoming shaky. If I'm not mistaken, there's only one quest left with the Order of the Death Vigil, and it is to kill Uruboruk in the East March. Um. Hmm. Should have definitely done that, but there's not enough reputation with them for some reason. Don't know how or why, but I guess I, I kind of like skipped too many of them. Guys, I just, I literally just used an XP part. For some reason, in some of my playthroughs, you cannot pass from there. Like, it just gets blocked as if, like, you didn't do a quest or something, I don't know. Open the gates! 30%? <laughs> Alright. I hate you. Told you to go to hand reins. <laughs> hey, it's going fine, okay? I don't mind. I mean, it's a little, it's a little, um, it's a little slower than I expected it to be. <laughs> Converted to lightning. It sucks. It's like, you know. 
Where's the gold drops? Hey, we have everything we need. See, at this point, like, we are supposed to go to East Marsh for this, Outcast. But you really want to be, like, on it at the same time with the, um, with the Order of the Death Vigil. So that, um, you can have the reward quest done as well. I mean, to be honest with you, like, you're not losing so much. It's just, like, one quest at the end of the day, yes, but saves a bit of experience and more reputation. So, unfortunately, we are skipping that now. That is rip. Hello. That hit Ran random doom vault. Hey Fortune, how's it going? Let's see if I can tank the bleeds. What's the worst that can happen? I think we could. Time for an SOT run. Hey, that's a cool one. That's insane, I like it. Alright. We we just found like really really defensive shoulders. They 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 were really good. Um so far it's really funny that like I couldn't find any any cold damage increase, anything. Maybe or, or like all damage increase kinda. Of. Take that too. It's kind of making me sad. We have to execute now, so character will be hitting quite hard on the single target, especially. I'm actually thinking of going um, about like four points into it, so the next entire level is going into that. And I think afterwards we'll we'll go some go some minus resistance, maybe. Maybe that thing. I don't know. Probably. 10 spirit from the wiper. <laughs> it must pick up. Which tree?
just realizing that we need to kill some undead guys. Um, especially the stars, like heroes, elites, yeah? Because we, we need to get on a little bit of robbers, and we are halfway to it. Respected at the moment. I'll pay three for me. Knights, they're really resistant to me. Crazy. So maybe it's going to be a good pickup after all the minus resistance and the wine presume. There was, there was some like, I actually said this about like 20 levels ago or something. For, for our weapons, there's, I think there's some sort of like chill weapon, aura or something like that, that we need to open. We should have definitely gone for that. That's, I think that's a big mistake that I have done. Um, maybe the cold stone, right? Is, is that what it is? If I can find like a godlike weapon, I could still go for it. Remind. Yeah, the cold stone, right? Yeah. Should have gone for the cold stone, I think. Oh, the warlock is hiding. How are we doing with the robbers? <laughs> Terrible. Please mercy. A frost revenant. Next level we are sinking in like three points into this thing over here for the minus resistance. I want to kill every single skelly before fighting that guy.
Open the gates. Do we have any upgrades though? Not really. Oops. Chill blaze. What does it drop from the children? Adam is saying I'm heading out for now. See you later, Mala. See you later, Shane. Have a nice evening. You too, Adam. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Nice evening yourself. It's a random drop, I see. I think this room is really important to be able to, like, you know, do the robbery's reputation as well. You're lucky you're getting about, like, five euro spawn here. Well, we got, like, two. <laughs> Maybe three. I think we got three, yeah. I don't want to thank the Gargantuan at the same time with this guy. Hmm. spell we were. Kinda sad that we haven't gotten anything. Barking leg guards. Would have been so nice to have like a crazy sword from this. Elemental storm into rank six. Hide from me. <laughs> Hoping that he's not capable of one shutting me, honestly. He's just falling short about like 40% most of the time. Side it's open, let's check the other side first. There's gonna be blocks over here. Some spawns maybe. Just two <laughs> literally two monsters. That's messed up, dude. How are we doing with the reputation? Alright, almost there, almost there. I think we'll be fine. Should be fine like when we are killing the last boss. The last boss might be an issue for this guy, and to be honest with you, like I am okay to like restarting my game if it's too hard. But we do have a couple of like minus resistances, so maybe it will be fine. I actually don't know. Maybe I need to try and find out. There was like a couple of whole frost potions that dropped like while we were leveling. I think one of them dropped from one of the goblins. Um, please don't die to this. <laughs> Up. Ah, that's gonna give me the resistance that I need. Sorry. I mean in the normal difficulty to be fair like there's not much resistances on the monsters I mean they're still beefy to the damage that you're dealing but we did fail to convert my damage to fully cold just have a lot of spells that I hit in cold that's all that's gonna hurt 
Please don't kill me. Please no. Alright. Oh my god. Worked out. <laughs> that guy's still alive, the archer on the left side, that's insane. Seems I haven't been checking my stats for some time now. Get out of my way, you fools. Might be some spawn over here as well. There we go. How many ectoplasms did I find? Like, that's just insane. You might actually be doing a little bit better if you come here with the wiper. What I'm trying to say is like instead of completing the elemental storm, just take the proc out of it and then go for wiper instantly. That way you are going to be having um, wiper completed before this place as well. I'm pretty sure you're gonna deal more damage thanks to that. Not sure. No, we kill that too. Holy shit, there's one more way. Let's go. Six B bags. <laughs> Lone survivor Skelly. I think it's playing the Morrowind once again. That feeling when you're leveling is taking too long. It's been about three hours now, I want to say. You would say. You can check out the timer. Check out the timer. Eh? The last two or three runs with like Shami, Occultist, Necromancer, Arcanist, yeah, maybe even like four runs. Um, there have been sub three hours if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it, maybe the Shami was a little bit longer, but the other three definitely sub three hours, all of them. This one is two and a half hours so far. Never mind, I lied. I lied. It's not going too bad, man. It's not going too bad. Thank you. I was ready to see a three hour written over here. Let's go. Oh, 
Um, I think I, I spawn either side and then we continue and then we come back and kill them later on. I need to turn back this way anyways. Just want the XP from here. We like spawn as much as we can and then afterwards we'll be turning back from this road anyways. So. Um, which way? Joy. So if you like pay attention and like kill pretty much everything inside SOT, you're gaining quite a lot of levels at the early on. Yeah, max out the resistance miners. Random freezes. Yeah, the Revenous Earth does shotgun. If you can land it in the middle, I think, right? Lucky saying, I love SOT. Sad that my purifier seems quite slow, slow uh, due to elemental resistance stuff. Hmm. You should be okay, actually, Doug. Feel free to, like, load your, load your character up to Grim Tools and share it with us sometime. Like, right now, I cannot help, definitely. If you would like to put it on Discord, I can help later on today. But, um, otherwise, maybe like tomorrow on stream or something, feel free to share it, dude. Check it out. There's nothing spawning? Oh, maybe this guy? That's nah, been lots of one-handed drops so far. Kind of feeling lazy checking them out, not gonna lie. We could we could do that like next to the NPC. It would actually like help me drastically fighting the last boss. I'm pretty sure the last boss is going to be a pain in the butt for a character like mine because he, he has spiky damage. Oh, we're skipping this guy. Yeah, we're definitely skipping that. Please, stop chasing me, Alos. <laughs> yeah, the Knights and the Revenants definitely take too long. For me too. So... Later on into the ga game, I I I'm guessing you're gonna need quite a lot of minus resistance stuff versus them. If they're like this, even on the normal difficulty, yep. Definitely. Look at that. Last plus time. <laughs> I'm scared. As I said, like, I am going to be skipping him if it's any problem. Like, this character might be a little too rippy versus him. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, man. Let's just stop. Ah, so our resistance is the cold full. Stupid trap just destroyed me. I'm trying to keep him exactly on top of the elemental storm as much as I can. Well, not anymore.
Alright, it was not as bad as I thought it could be. As usual, I suppose. Storm sign. It's an offend, I think. Rip. <laughs> Rip. So, we are honored with these guys now, right? Please, do me a favor. We did end up like we start in the game as well. Um, so, there's, there's no portal location. Right, that, that's kind of messed up. That's kind of messed up. Check the Alchemos MI weapon. Um, I mean, isn't it like a two-hander? It's a Warblade, isn't it? Yeah, it's a two-hander. Let's continue with the duel. Let's go. Let's go. It is alright. That ain't too bad. Nineteen percent chaos resistance, guys. <laughs> Skek, there's living life on the edge, always. No, what is going on? <laughs> the hell was that? Don't think we found the exit yet. It's not in that corner, is it? No. Ah, we can open this. Nation heart, that was definitely worth it, insane. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. No props. Yeah, I do have an XP pot uh, going. You can write exclamation XP pot. See how to how to get it. Same thing. It's kind of like really really annoyed me the fact that we didn't get honored with the uh, order of the death vigil. Honestly, like it's kind of sad and annoying and sad. I'm gonna try something. Hmm. I'm still practicing this? No, this is not good. Okay, we go back to the left. Trying to practice the locations of the rift that can be in this map. Nice. Up a portal here. This was one thing that I wasn't that good at either. Now I'm trying to get used to where it can spawn and try to do it like just one time, you know, instead of coming back. I was doing it like just go from the east, come back from the west kind of deal. Um, 
if it's not on the east, obviously. Now trying to visit all the locations while going. I seriously like our single target and reminding you we, we are using the wrong augments, I mean uh, components from our weapon, we are using not so great weapons to be honest with you. I think we found a weapon that is on our main hand at like level 20 or something. So like you could be a lot luckier than this to be honest with you. Definitely. We could have been. And then I would have used cold stone on them. Oh, they saw the tanky. We do need to kill them, they're really good XP pop. Mm, it might be on this side. That'd be not so bad. Yes. Like, just second check. The order of the death vigil is still missing about like 700. Like you could end up doing, let's say, um, can you actually kill Chthonics for these guys? You have to kill Ethereals. Okay, maybe after Necropolis we can take the quest. I don't know, but like just going back for that quest would be kind of tilting me as well. So when you make something like this, if you're a spellbreaker, just imagine having, you know, a little bit more cold scale, obviously, just a little bit more, you don't need much more. But on top of that, imagine having, like, maxed out flash freeze as well. You know, it's giving you so much control and so much DPS, it's insane, actually. Let's go say hi to Mogdruk and yesterday I killed him with my uh, battle mage I think, yeah. On elite, <laughs> on ultimate I didn't try him. I'm guessing there's no way I'm killing him so. How could you hate the Arcanist? Arcanist is the best thing. I love Arcanist. I think it's my favorite class. No one hates on Arcanist, man. Sitting on 3% Chaos resistance versus Harbingers. <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. Blueprint the occult, occult Skull. What are you? Hey, that's a nice one. Why it says resistance.
<laughs> I mean, if I have a choice, I'm not gonna kill the Abomination, but team team seem to be wanting to die, and it's an AKA also, might as well actually. If you're feeling squishy with an Arcanist, you should just put more points into Maven. If you're maxed out with Maven, you should find some gear that is putting more points for you. <laughs> that is the best thing in the game, I think. Depending on how you build them, definitely could could survive pretty much anything with them. Viper hype, man. That was good. The next point that we're gonna get from the cave, I think I'm putting it on... Um, I'm putting it on the crossroad for like 5% HP. Honestly, I think that's the best choice. Two out of twelve on Maven is the way to go. Yes, that is a bitter dream. Please don't die to Harbingers, please. Out of Kton. Now you should see my you should see my battle mage. I have only one point into mirror and there's eleven points in it. <laughs> and it is working like a charm. It's fifteen second cooldown on it with hundred and thirty five percent damage reflection reflected. While I'm not taking any damage, they're actually like hitting themselves harder than it, they could have hit me. So I wouldn't say it's overrated. It is one point for getting incredible amounts of value and that's all about arcanist there's too many nodes like that too many nodes like that We remember the pants that we found at like level 22 or something. Makes me able to tank this guy. Despised by the Chthonians. What are you talking about? Chthonics love me. It's 
it's amazing that I managed to stay on uh, okay HP with just one class and that class is not played. Like our HP is not that repeat at all. Like it's okay, -ish, you know. The only thing that could kill us is is the chaos in in Logarian fights. Chaos can definitely destroy us. Attack speed. <laughs> you should get a purity bonus for taking only one class. Maybe. Sounds sounds interesting to be honest with you. The northern one is still alive. It's gonna be um, over here maybe? I can his night blade is definitely yes. I will of course. You can check my um spellbreaker build if you write exclamation build in the chat. Never considered like taking that point actually. Is that something good? Maybe we could have gotten this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He didn't mark me for some reason, I don't know why. That's not too bad. No, we're full everywhere. I forgot about this. I 
us this way. Alright, my I am going to be getting to level 50 and then we'll be calling it right there because like my apologies to everyone both on stream and the YouTube watching but I will need to go like in five minutes or something. We're going for a family dinner. So I'm gonna skip the Logarian at the end of the video. I think so at least. I mean I could actually give it a try. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. <clears throat> it shouldn't take too long, no? Our single target is pretty good. Our single target is pretty good. Let's see. Delete those. Open some space for the new loot. Get like... Hmm. Cow systems requires a rift stone. I think Chaos Resistance should be enough for me to kill him. I think so, at least. We'll see. Hopefully. It's not too bad. I'm not really sure why and how I am misjudging his puke. I don't know why, this was not happening to me before. Ah, oh, you gotta stop meleeing me. He's whining inside, I think. It's funny. Um, yo! And look at the XP. That's incredible. That was just like calculated, pretty much. You finish like the vanilla content with the straight. And it comes to um, level 50. Wait, 3 hours, 3 minutes? I'll take it. It's not bad. Alright. <laughs> Yo guys, I really 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 need to go. So I much appreciate the fact that you watched throughout this and I hope that it was useful. Um, the start of the night blade was, was pretty shaky both for survival and AoE. Single target was always kind of okay, but I think we did a good job to be honest with you. I think we did a good job. Uh, the build is going to be in the description. And uh, for the ones that are on YouTube, thanks for watching dudes. I'll see you next time. Um...